Thank you, Annette. Maybe you can put the slides back. Thank you. Yeah. I just 20 minutes ago checked, uh, checked my LinkedIn account that it seems that I've been working for CTF Tech now six months. So before that, I was teacher training guy at the University of Tartu. So basically, this is my six months is full time cybersecurity career. So I'm really sorry if I miss, uh, mix up some terms. So, but I'm trying to do my best. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to do a demo. I will show you one environment that basically shows, uh, solves some issues that uh, our previous presenters have pointed out. And uh, this is a showcase that uh, we started here in Estonia. It's strongly related with a thing that is happening, the event that is happening uh, on this big hall, this cyber battle. So, yeah. Uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, I have to use this remote. Yeah, it's a really cool remote. Yep. Now, uh, first thing what I learned, I learned a lot uh, because I didn't have a holiday because I left uh, somewhere in May from University of Tartu. So basically I didn't have any chance to ask a holiday from CTF Tech. So I started my work in June. So I, but what Mario did, Mario was start learning. And uh, first thing what I learned was Linux. And uh, Linux, all who knows Linux knows this command line, but who am I? You raise your hands who know this uh, knows this command. Okay, Ola, you should know. Okay, I don't see actually any hands. Okay, I see Ola is always blinking. Uh, yeah, but he's a uh, uh, IT guy. He knows everything about Linux. So, uh, but uh, today I invented my own command line. Uh, who we are? So Linux command line. Who we are? And I borrowed this sentence from uh, ZF webpage. We are an Estonian cybersecurity company whose mission is to introduce students to a field of cybersecurity. And actually, this is what I'm doing, uh, what I have done so far these past uh, last six months uh, while I've been working for CTF Tech. Uh, OK, uh, but this is our uh, challenge, and this is uh, what we do. How we do it? Uh, we use this, uh, you know, with terms, learn and teach. I don't see hands, but yeah. But uh, learn is something that uh, we learn something and teach is somebody tells you something. Yeah. Uh, from this uh, project that we had, supported by Norwegian grants, uh, EEA and Norwegian grants, to be precisely, uh, we have built a learning environment but Estonian schools and at some point uh, all schools who want to use this uh, platform for learning, uh, how to hack ethically. Ethically. Because uh, what I've learned is that actually there are, uh, there are not so many learning materials where what students could use uh, uh, in educational perspective way, purposeful way, meaningful way in educational field. Obviously, everybody who wants to do some bad thing can just uh, use YouTube or just Google how to act sweat bank or how to change grades in e-school. I know I'm using, sorry about uh, for foreigners, I'm using Estonian examples. Okay, sweat bank is also foreign. Yeah, sorry. So anyway, we have this portal. Uh, Mario's first task was to introduce uh, this portal to the teachers. Why teachers? Because teachers know what to do. Teachers know how to teach. And uh, another good thing is that teachers uh, have an access to the students. So if a teacher has an access uh, to a student and uh, he or she knows how to teach, we are already on a safe side. So what we did, we, uh, we promised to, in the project, we promised to target 60, 60 uh, local governments and uh, to introduce them uh, the portal that we what I will uh, introduce you soon. It sounds like it is TV commercial, uh, more to come. So, <laughs> okay. So what I did, I just um, uh, made some appointments together with uh, colleagues from uh, um, Tartu Ülikooli Teaduskool in Estonian, and uh, now I don't remember anymore. Oh, it's in English. You used the same word, uh, Iris. Science, school. Science schools. That's good that I know Iris now. Science School of Tartu University, yeah. And to go with Science School, we, uh, we made uh, 
um, in-service days for teachers to introduce uh, ethical hacking for them. And we didn't choose these teachers who uh, must be some kind of uh, have an IT background. I, we were expecting these teachers like me. I didn't. I don't have any IT background. I didn't uh, because I was like I told you. I was uh, teacher training in my previous life, so I know how to teach uh, teachers. I think at least. So uh, what we did, we basically had covered the whole, est uh, the, the whole Estonia, basically with uh, red uh, pins uh, mark places where this platform has been introduced somehow. Uh, because some of uh, these kind of meetings were uh, done before when I joined this CTF Tech team, but I managed to uh, visit uh, more than, uh, let's say, 10, 10, uh, 10, uh, 10 places all over Estonia. I remember last time it was in Saarema, a really nice meeting. Uh, we, we introduced where, and this was a time where I did it alone. Because, you know, I learned a lot uh, during these six months. Now I'm basically also a special aesthetical hacker in that sense. So um, the idea is first to introduce the Stone as teachers, but we have that kind of learning platform for, uh, for, uh, uh, for future talents to, to, uh, for teaching, to for learning uh, how to become an ethical hacker. And uh, this doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't mean that we ask teachers to become uh, uh, professionals uh, themselves to teach uh, these cybersecurity topics. So, but we uh, we at least want to uh, raise their awareness that there is kind of platform that you should uh, we what you can use or introduce to uh, the students who are interested in this field. And uh, uh, the portal itself. Uh, you will see it uh, soon. Uh, is uh, uh, you can use it as a self uh, self study. It's kind of self study method methodology that we provide there. So uh, interesting thing. I hope that uh, this is not a question that I should ask from audience because I don't know. Maybe you don't know. You all know CTF. What does it mean? Means uh, uh, capture a flag. And actually, these uh, tasks that we are providing them, these tasks that uh, these guys are doing and girls are doing uh, behind these walls, they are solving problems, difficult tasks, using their IT skills, how to find a flag. And the flag is an answer. And that usually, it's a kind of unique string. Uh, in our case, it usually starts with CTF Tech. You wonder why? Because CTF Tech is a company name, but yeah. So, uh, but the idea is to find and provide different challenges and uh, teachers, uh, sorry, students uh, must use their IT skills and uh, problem solving skills, how to uh, solve these problems. And the result is a flag. So now it's time to move here. Now I take role of, uh, please change the screen. Yeah, now I'm a news reader. Uh, and uh, you all know this. Uh, you all know elegant. I don't. I, I don't. Uh, I can't use this. You all know. Um, uh, but at least the stoners maybe know this uh, really cool old knitting show where one lady introduced how to uh, knit a sock, for example. And uh, you should learn uh, sitting behind a TV. So basically, these are now uh, knitting minutes. So this is our port portal. Uh, that will be uh, translated in Estonia first, and uh, for now it's in English. Uh, and uh, most of uh, uh, tasks and uh, task will be in English because uh, English is uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, computer world the main language, and there is no use to translate uh, and to make up Estonian terms for. Uh, and this makes makes uh, things more complicated. Uh, it actually. Actually, it's not so. The portal has three sections, learn, play, and compete. And from a teacher perspective, you also have a kind of section that we can call teach. So basically, the teach means that you are uh, um, the place where you can uh, handle your uh, or manage your uh, learning groups. And I will go through step by step, like this knitting show, and uh, try to follow me without any uh, access to this portal. So you have to just save and uh, yeah. 
But the good news is if this uh, uh, fabrication ends, you will all have a chance to try it out in this uh, uh, entertainment area. Yeah, I'm missing my words already. Entertainment area, try to find out uh, the box that is uh, marked with CTF and uh, ask, uh, uh, ask a demo, a professional, uh, a personal demo session, because Mario uh, told that uh, there is a possibility, yeah. So you can try it out uh, on your own. So let's, uh, let's see what's uh, inside uh, different uh, 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 steps. So let's, let's imagine that I'm a self-learning self, uh, student. I got the information from a music teacher who accidentally, sorry, um, uh, not accidentally, but uh, Mario or the science uh, school asked to join the cybersecurity training course, uh, uh, knows that there's a portal. But I'm really interested in uh, studying cybersecurity. So when I enter this portal, I will uh, first open up Learn and uh, Learn Model. And uh, here I can see topics that are um, commonly used or taught for uh, for students, uh, everything about ethical hacking. We all know that ethical hacking is good, uh, not ethical hacking is bad. Uh, you remember that uh, um, Lowry uh, showed us that, uh, how many bad things happen if uh, people are not ethically hacking and doing bad things. Try to wear these black hats, not white hats. Yeah, now I remember that I have a black hat at home. So, but I'm not, uh, I'm hacking ethically. So, uh, so now you can see here topics that we all start, uh, we, the topic starts with uh, cybersecurity basics. Uh, this uh, place where we can, um, uh, where we can start the processes, just uh, uh, read the materials, uh, pictures about this. And uh, at one point will be also videos. So basically, if I have uh, read it through, understand everything, I will just mark done. And uh, another section is opened up. So here's a place where this capture of flag uh, uh, concept is introduced. So these are kind of introduction uh, section. This is a kind of introduction section and, uh, and uh, uh, basically refers to the next, uh, next uh, step. Now I have completed cybersecurity basics. I will continue uh, and start learning about Linux. And this is where, uh, where things uh, mm, get interesting because now I have to know more uh, about how to write uh, correct uh, actual uh, command lines in order to um, find out, solve puzzles uh, that are related with the cybersecurity uh, topics. Why Linux? Anybody knows why Linux? Open it's open source. What else? It's really basic. Like what? Well, yeah. Art. Why not? No, we can ask. We all know about Windows or Apple, but usually, actually, all the uh, uh, IT world uses Linux because it's simpler uh, and it's uh, kind of uh, more uh, gives you more uh, possibilities to create your own security systems and uh, t everything like this. So. At some point, uh, Estonian teachers maybe remember, at some point uh, there was a chance that all the schools in Estonia will uh, start using Linux because Microsoft increased the license rate, uh, the cost of the license rate uh, too high that uh, schools or local governments uh, thought that it's not uh, useful to pay that much amount that we need to uh, find an alternative. So at if would, uh, I thought that uh, in summer that if would, uh, this had happened, so all Estonian teachers know how to use Linux. Wonderful, makes our life easier. So, I mean, uh, the cybersecurity guys. So, uh, here we can see all the topics that are uh, uh, important for uh, using Linux uh, as a novice user. All the uh, screenshots about uh, uh, how it looks like uh, desktop and different command lines and uh, examples. And another cool stuff is that here is also always now a quiz where you can test your uh, knowledge, what you have learned. So basically, I can just, uh, I will just randomly put it, you can see it, uh, this is this knitting show. Uh, yeah, sock is almost ready. 
I can see, yeah. So I can press done, and now I can see how many correct answers I was uh, doing. So one only. But as it is a learning uh, phase, you can uh, start again. Because if you can redo it, you can analyze your results, why this uh, uh, central Linux installer was wrong. I need to understand it, why it was wrong, uh, uh, but actually what is the uh, correct one, so basically I can redo it. And all these uh, topics are basically built uh, in a similar way. So you have this theoretical material and you have this quiz section. But I will uh, smoothly go now on. Uh, I will not go through uh, all these uh, lines. You can try it out uh, later in this uh, area. Yeah. So, but what I really like here is uh, this hands-on section where you can actually try it out, all the theoretical materials that you have learned. All this knowledge, you can put this knowledge into skills and try to, uh, try to solve different tasks where you need uh, uh, these skills for ethical hacking. And uh, this uh, mainly is about Linux. So let's uh, play now. Play means a game. So here you can see typical, uh, typical uh, way how to, um, how to create a CTF task. It looks like uh, Jeopardy, and this is one uh, method that is used for CTFs usually. Jeopardy uh, points, questions. If you solve, you get these points, and so on. So, and uh, this, uh, uh, this um, play model comes from our uh, uh, mother company, Cyberxer Technology, this uh, ICA portal that uh, actually are using uh, these uh, competitors also in this uh, competition. So let's try to solve one task. Uh, I will start uh, the mission because uh, you all saw that I solved, uh, we learned the materials, now I know everything. So let's start with hidden. Start solving <laughs> and uh, find a flag from your home directory. Uh, investigate your home directory in your Kali. Here is a flag in the text file. So, who is going to help me? How to do it? Hello, you, you can't say anything because you know too much. Okay, uh, if I heard correctly, somebody told in the audience that open console. That's a correct answer, yeah. Now what happens now that I can actually start the game? So what else I need? I need some knowledge, I need to understand. Uh, now you see that uh, these tasks are in English and uh, from a Estonian perspective, actually it's expected that all the tasks are in Estonian, but, uh, but uh, concerning this, uh, this uh, play, play, play task will stay anyway in English because there are so many terms that, uh, like I told you, uh, it's no use to translate them uh, to Estonian. So what can I do? Find a flag from your home directory. I can use uh, PVD, what does it mean? Password. It looks like password, but let us see. You are in a root directory. What else I can do? It's easy, it's Linux. Huh? Let's see. Uh, how can I see? If I need to find some files. How can I see it? Uh, how can I find these files? Yeah, uh, ls uh, minus la. Uh, you are really good students. I'm um, a really good teacher. You all basically, uh, it took like 30 seconds, you all know about Linux. And now we can see all the files that are available in this Linux system. Uh, compared to Windows, Windows, you will basically the same happens if you open some folders, you will see the list of files. So what can I see here? Uh -huh. Somebody said uh, secret.txt is interesting. Now let's find out, that's that's interesting uh, proposal. So now uh, I type in cat, what does it mean? Yeah, that's good. Uh, cat, excellent. You all passed this test, what I'm just doing later, so secret.txt. What I did, ah, okay, I misspelled, sorry. I made a typo. Let's hope. Again, really bad teacher. Uh, 
Can you imagine that when it happens in a knitting show? You are almost full and, and this uh, jumps off and you have to start again. So, but uh, computers are easier. You can just delay it and replace and uh, <laughs> no file. Jesus Christ, what I did. I'm missing the same type all the time, so I'm doing the same mistake. Oh, right. Yeah, you learn from uh, speakers' mistakes. So now we see that uh, we found something. Do you remember uh, how a flag in our system looks like? Yeah. Yeah. We found the flag. We found the flag. What I have to do is now, actually these guys who are solving and competing to, to find a battle are doing the same thing. A little bit easier stuff that I'm doing here. So, but <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just copying here, submit, and voila. Excellent job. Thank you very much. And uh, that's it. <clears throat> but it's not yet over because I heard that somebody in the audience told that uh, Mario didn't uh, show the teacher view. So I have 50 seconds. I will show you teacher view. So I, will, I have three students in my class. A class is called Cybercation. So you see that uh, these teachers, uh, sorry, students are here. Um, uh, these are these tasks that we are doing. My students, Dr. Active, uh, Cyber Chris, and uh, Kaspar Gusk, very international group of mine. Uh, and uh, I can see here, uh, what I can see here, what kind of tasks that I have uh, ask them to do, starting with cybersecurity basics, uh, Linux basics, and warm up CTF. This, these are kind of uh, uh, tasks that I, what I ask them to do. So uh, warm up CTF comes from a play model. So basically, they can uh, play for a round so just to try out different kind of uh, cybersecurity tasks. So I will open up results. And let's see. Here I can see uh, what happens in uh, uh, warm up CTF. I can see that someone uh, has used hints, and uh, this means it help for solving a problem. So I will try to find out who was it. Dr. Active uh, hasn't solved anything. Uh, CyberChris has done one and used uh, one hint. And, uh, and OK, Kaspar Goos needs special attention but, uh, because uh, he used uh, so many hints. And, uh, but I have to check the learn model. Uh, Everybody has uh, done at least one uh, topic what I asked them to do. So, okay, now it's over. Thank you very much. And uh, last slide, please. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Well, I, I think we're just can uh, let the audience to ask you a question if, if there is anything that you would still like to know about, uh, about this demo. But uh, I, I think you already covered a lot of things here. Okay. Is there anybody who wants to still ask anything from, uh, from Mario before I, I let him to go and rest a little now after this exciting demo here? What, I, what, what you see, I have learned from Estonian professionals. Actually, they are asking a question. Uh, from themselves and try to answer it. From TV, I've seen some guys. Who are <laughs> so you can you can perhaps ask a question from yourself if you want to, but uh, uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, and I would say a big thank you for you and um, a big applause once again to Mario. <laughs>